okay? And they are more specific on these infractions. And I want to direct your attention down to their violations. And in their violations, you have this section here that says, boxers are prohibited from hitting below the belt, holding, tripping, pushing, biting, spitting, or wrestling their opponent. Let me say that again. Boxers are prohibited from hitting below the belt, holding, tripping, pushing, biting, spitting on, or wrestling their opponent. Now I want you to remember, wrestling, holding, which people call hugging. Now, however, if you go a little further down, it says, if a clinch, and it is defined for your benefit, a defensive move in which a boxer wraps his opponent's arms and holds on to create a pause. Okay? And they make it abundantly clear that this is called a clinch. It's taught in boxing. It is not the same as holding in the terms of what the rules prohibit. It is not the same as wrestling in which the rules prohibit. A clinch is something different, as well as tying up, and it is a part of infighting. Every boxer is taught how to clinch, and it has been defined for your benefit, is broken by the referee. Each fighter must take a step back before punching again. Alternatively, the referee may direct the fighters to punch out of the clinch. Okay? So for all those people who quote the Marcus of Queensberry rules, do understand that there are more specific rules by the Association of Boxing Commissions in the modern world of boxing that define what holding is, wrestling is, and clinching or tying up is. The problem in boxing is when excessive I use I interuse holding with clinching but when there's excessive holding or excessive clinching not excessive tying up because excessive tying up doesn't break the action it doesn't break the action of boxers getting to punch so there's always action but with clinching you lock up on your opponent's hand or arms or their head you stop the action but if there's excessive clinching or you do not break when the referee tells you to break, then and only then you can be warned or you can be penalized immediately. It's up to the referee's discretion. In the amateurs, you have less obvious or explicit or blatant clinching, but there is clinching involved. I just showed you two amateur fighters who were clinching. You also have head control where you use the forearms in boxing, once it's not explicit or blatant, if it looks like it's a jab that was being thrown or fainted, and then you had control to move your opponent, the important thing with the forearm is you do not push off with the forearm. That is illegal. You must not push into your opponent, but you can use your forearm, just like as you would use a jab, to find range, to pivot on your opponent, etc. Okay? And you saw that with Vernon Forrest and with Shane Mosley. So, I wanted to educate you guys on this because a lot of people who are not really associated with the school of boxing, they try to talk about there should be no holding and it's illegal. No, it's not illegal. Okay? And when I talk about holding, I'm talking about clinching and tying up. It's not illegal. Excessive clinching. In layman's terms, excessive holding is illegal. Okay? So I thought I would share that with you. All the people in boxing know this, the boxers, the trainers, they know this because they teach their boxers to clinch and hold. And if you watch them spar, they do a lot of it. So, and there are different types, okay? So, there's a lot to boxing. Now, I wanted to make this statement because I think it's important that people understand what I do on my channel. I want to say that when I engage in a discussion with someone and I block them, it's because not only did I present good reasoning to these people, but there comes a point at which they become nonsensical. They're not reasoning anymore. 
They're not trying to use reason to counter my arguments. And when somebody becomes nonsensical and abusive and insulting, I will block you. Okay, I will block you. All right. It's not that I, I am interested in winning arguments. I just hope that you would come with good reasons, come with good logic. So there are times again when I'm discussing with someone and I, I don't really want to continue the conversation. And I tell them, okay. And I just, I just allow them to have their own opinions and I just leave them alone. There are other times again where I engage the person because I realize this person that I'm talking to understands boxing. And so we can have a conversation so that you will find me, even if I don't agree with them, I, I'll continue talking with them because I realize that they have something that I can learn from or something that they, they are learning from me and we can engage with one another. But I really don't tolerate, I'll have zero tolerance to abusive people or nonsensical people who, when I'm discussing with you something, you begin to become nonsensical and you're saying that you're correct but you're not really you're not correct at all in any way shape or form and on top of that you don't understand certain things about boxing I don't claim to be a guy who knows boxing I'm still learning boxing myself but it's ridiculous when I hear somebody like I was having a discussion with this guy and I said that uh, I said that uh, that Deontay Wilder uses the pivot better than uh, Muhammad Ali and this guy doesn't even know what pivots are. He doesn't understand what a back foot pivot is. He doesn't understand what a front foot pivot is. But he's talking about he actually boxes in his life. And uh, Muhammad Ali had better at pivoting than uh, uh, Deontay Wilder. And I'm like, dude, do you even understand what a pivot is? Right? So, I mean, <laughs> you know, there's just some things I say that sound controversial to the fanboy. But if you've been in boxing, you'll understand what I'm talking about. All right. I even heard um, just recently um, Danny Garcia's father, Angel Garcia, talking about dehydration, how it affects the organs of your body. Okay, because remember, you have water that must be used. It, 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 if you if you go into the stores of water that are used for your organs to function, that's a dangerous thing. And I did a whole piece on that. And he confirms that piece. You see what I'm saying? When I talked about boxing families. Out came a whole set of videos on families in boxing, all right, from Ellie Sec back and so on. They're confirming what I'm saying, okay? I don't talk things that I didn't, he that I, it came up from my head. It always came from a fighter. I listen to fighters talk. I try to hear what they're saying, okay? And if these guys have taken years to learn the sport of boxing and develop themselves, you should listen to them, Okay? I prefer to listen to a boxer talk about boxing than a commentator who doesn't know what on earth he's saying. That's all I got to say. You guys have a great one.